Hi, Richard V. Coffin 666. How are you? And I want to talk to you today about role models. If you're a young kid, 14, 15, and you're watching this, I just want to remember this. This is a cigarette. These things are very, very cool. You'll get you get far in life if you smoke these. I do. I do. And look at me, I'm cool. No, really, seriously, do it. I think it's funny the people who obsess about my smoking. I mean, I was one of the few people who, when the smoking ban kicked in, I didn't complain. I got on with it. And I thought, well, I'm on the internet now. You can't even have a fag on the fucking internet without some pretentious, cock-sucking non-smoker jumping up and get in. You are now a role model. It is now your responsibility to make sure that the kids follow in your... Fuck you. Responsibility, I'm a role model. <laughs> Let's talk about role models, shall we? Take someone like Amy Winehouse. Now, Amy Winehouse is someone who is, you know, it, she's, got a, she's got issues, let's be fair. But every time she does something wrong, or she's caught smoking a kilo of crack, people get on, it's a very bad role model for children, bad role model for children. You know? And I think, to, no. No, that's bullshit. Since when, you know, no one goes into any, no one goes into any avenue of life to become a role model, to become a a a a, a, a symbol of for children. But the people who, but it's the people who blame the celebrities or the public figures or whatever for being for being role. It's the people who accuse them of role models. They're the real problem. Because if you're someone who jumps up and down and has a hissy fit every time. Pete Doherty is pissed out of his head, or a sports star like Wayne Rooney fucking shins someone in a nightclub, and you accuse them of saying they're being a bad role model. It's you that's the problem. Do you know who your kids, do you know who your children's biggest role model is? You. Not me. And if I am, if I've become an influential figure in your child's life, then that's not, that doesn't mean that I am someone of great influence. It means you're a shit parent. I should not be able to fucking change the course of your child's thinking through a few videos on YouTube. you with them every fucking day, for God's sake. Take some fucking responsibility. And that's the problem, really, isn't it? Because your kids will see you every time someone does something wrong and they're in the press, your kids will see you jumping up and down going, what about the role models for my children, these people are wrong. And they see you blaming someone else for your, for your child's bad, possibly bad life they're going to lead. Or your child's future drug addiction. It's that person's fault. All your children will do is see you blaming other people. And they'll see you accusing these people of being bad role models. And that sets the kid in a mindset where it thinks, hey, obviously, these people are my role models. But you see, they're not bad role models. You see, whilst none of us would like our kids to grow up to be a crackhead like Amy Winehouse, let's not forget, Amy Winehouse is incredibly successful at what she does. She's one of the most popular modern contemporary musical artists in the world. And whilst I would rather my child, God forbid that I should ever have one, grew up to be a crackhead, I would rather that they grew up to be a crackhead who was also the most successful solo artist of the modern era. Whilst I would rather my child grew up to be more educated and cultured and civilised than Wayne Rooney, I don't mind if, they, if they're not, I don't mind as long as they're a footballer who's worth £150,000 a week. The reason these people are accused and attacked by these moralistic role model crowd is simple. It's because the people who make these accusations, these people have lived their lives doing everything fucking right. They've got their education, They've got their girlfriend, their partner, what have you. They've got the safe job, the insurance, the mortgage, the house. They've never taken drugs. They've never been an activist. They've done everything right. They've conformed. They've done everything they're told they're supposed to fucking do. And they see people like Amy Winehouse and Wayne Rooney, people who've done everything fucking wrong. People who've lived their lives doing nothing the way you're told you're supposed to. 
and they've become a thousand million times more successful and that pisses you the fuck off and so you decide to blame these people for your children if should they grow up to be complete and utter cunts but of course if your children are successful that's all you're doing isn't it and I blame the, the media who take the the media will take pick them. Amy Winehouse will fall out of a club, fucking ten fags in her mouth, fucking needle in her arm, tit hanging out, and she'll fall into a gutter into a fucking vat of her own sick. And people will go, look at this disgusting behaviour, look at this bad role model. Don't take pictures of her and put it all over the papers then. You're more implicit in this than she is. So don't look at me. And if you're someone who is looking at me as a role model, I thank you. But please, don't. I'm not a hero. I'm not someone you should aspire to be. I wouldn't wish my life upon anyone. Apart from me, I think it's great. But not you. So, let's cut this bullshit out. And let's just carry on having the fun, shall we? Now, I'm off to get some hookers and a couple of jabs of skag. I'll see you later. Richard the Dickhoff on 66. Good night. May God be less.